Go and sin no more. I'm going to repeat it. Go and sin no more. You know, that's a very powerful statement that the Lord made. Go and sin no more. Yet, most people that read the scripture misunderstand this passage. You know, in a very, very wicked way. Most people that read this passage will tell you, you see, the Lord made it, made it clear. Go now and sin no more or else you're in trouble. No, the Lord Jesus didn't say that. The Lord Jesus asked her, there was a woman that was caught uh, with adultery. The Lord asked her, did any of those men condemn you? She said, no, Lord. Then the Lord said, neither do I condemn you. Now, go now and say no more. It's interesting that the Lord asked about condemnation. You see? But, you know, we often miss such things. Okay? The Lord has, has his reasons why he asked towards condemnation. Because... We often, in our minds, believe that first there is sin, then there's condemnation. But it's not true. It's the other way around. First comes condemnation, then comes sin. Okay? If you don't believe me, let's go back to the Garden of Eden. Okay? When the serpent, which was Satan in the form, transformed in the form of a beast, when Satan deceived the woman, Eve, what happened? The serpent convinced Eve that God didn't care about her. That's, and Eve felt betrayed. She felt condemned. And because she felt condemned, her logical, you know, reasoning was, okay, I'm condemned, I'm unworthy, so God isn't going to look after me. I need to do it myself because I'm doomed anyway. That's basically what Satan did. He offered condemnation. And when the woman received the condemnation, then she sinned. She became defiled and everything. Where there is no condemnation, there can't be any sin. So if you want to remove sin... Condemnation needs to be removed. I'm going to repeat this. Wherever there is sin, there's condemnation first. The opposite is also true. Wherever there's righteousness, there is faith first. So you see now that faith and condemnation don't go hand in hand together. Where there's condemnation, Sin will follow, and where sin follows, diseases follow, iniquity follows, addictions follow, un unrest follows, you know, and it leads to death and everlasting misery. But before there is sin, there's condemnation. Okay? And condemnation is the belief that you're unworthy and that you therefore deserve to be treated as anything because you're unworthy. And therefore you have to take life in your own hands because to, to prove that you're worthy. That's what condemnation is. Condemnation denies the grace and the goodness of God. It may, condemnation can cause God a liar. Therefore condemning the one that believes condemnation with the conviction that the one that is condemned needs to prove him herself in order to be all right. That's what condemnation is. Condemnation is a lie. So the Lord made her clear, I don't condemn you either. So now go and sin no more. Why? The Lord just removed the root of sin, condemnation. And when the, if the root has been taken care of, you can't have any branches because the roots come forth from the branch. The, the the branch the branches 
are coming forth from the roots. I'm sorry. So you have the roots, and from the roots you have the tree, and on the tree you have the bran branches, and the branches have the fruits. So you can cut away the fruits, you still have the branches. You cut away the branches, you still have the tree. You cut the tree down, you still have the roots. You see? And if, as long as there are roots, the tree can still grow back and you will have fruits again very soon. So what do you do? You remove the roots. So when the roots are removed, the whole tree is gone. You have no branches and no fruits. So where condemnation disappears and the grace of God abides, where faith abides, there is righteousness. Where condemnation abides, there is sin and death. All right? So, go now and sin no more. It's a declaration of freedom, a declaration of salvation, a declaration of redemption. It's a declaration of good news to, to, towards you. Go now and sin no more.